Nowadays, there are many ways to grow an email list. One of the fastest methods to do so involves web scraping. With the help of a web scraper and by carefully selecting your lead sources, you can quickly build a high quality email list. You can then use this list for email marketing efforts or use it as a custom audience in Google or Facebook ads. We are Parsub and here's how to scrape email addresses from any website into a convenient Excel spreadsheet. Before we get scraping, there are a few things that you must keep in mind before you get started. After all, cold emailing a list of scraped emails might not be the best approach to grow your business. Here are some considerations to make before starting. Is the source of emails you'll be scraping legitimate? Have these addresses been made public by the users? Or have they been published against their consent? Are these real, high quality email addresses? How will you use this email list? Do you plan to blast this list with spammy messages to see who bites? Or are you planning to use this list to build legitimate connections with your potential customers? When dealing with scraped email addresses, we recommend checking your local laws regarding spamming and what you are allowed to do with emails you've collected. Now that you have figured out these factors, let's get into how to scrape email addresses from any website. In order to get started, we'll need a web page with email addresses we'd want to scrape. In this case, we'll be scraping the Minnesota State Bar Association's website for email addresses of their registered attorneys. This site lists the set attorneys with a link to their profile where you can see their email addresses once you click on the email button. We will have to set up our scraper to click on each profile and extract their email. Next, you will need a web scraper that can scrape emails from any website. For this example, we will download and install Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that works with any website. First, open Parsub and click on New Project. Then, enter the URL of the page you will want to scrape. Parsub will now render the page inside of the app. Start by clicking on the first name in the list. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the names in the list will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to Lawyer. Remove the URL extraction under your name selection since we are not interested in pulling the profile URL in this case. Now, click on the plus icon next to the lawyer selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page button. Click on no, and next to create new template, enter the name profile template. Then click on the create new template button. Parsa will now open a new tab and render the profile page for the first name in the list. Here, you can make your first selection for data to extract from this page. First, click on the email attorney button to select it. Rename your selection to email. You will notice that the email being pulled starts with mail to. We will set up Parsub to clean up the address before it extracts it. To do this, expand your email selection by clicking on the icon next to it. First, remove the extract email command since this is just extracting the text inside of the button. Now, select the email URL extraction and tick the Use Regex box. In the text box under it, enter the following regex code. Now, you can add an additional select command under the page selection to also extract the lawyer's address, phone number, and more. However, for this example, we will only focus on their email address. Now, Parsub is set up to extract the name and email of every lawyer in the first page of results. We will now set up Parsub to extract data from additional pages of results. Use the tabs at the top to return to the list results page. Then in the left sidebar, click on your main template tab. Use the plus sign next to the page selection and choose the select command. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on the current page number since this page does not have a specific next page link. Rename this selection to current page. Use the plus button next to the current page command and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the current page number and then on the second page link. You will see an arrow that will establish the connection between these two elements. Rename your new relative select command to next page. Now click on the plus sign next to the next page selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page button. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. For this example, we will repeat it 10 times. Parsa will now render the second page of the search results list. Scroll all the way to the bottom to make sure your relative select is working correctly. If the command is not working correctly, select your next page selection, click on the two at the bottom of the page, and then on the three next to it. Your relative select command should now work correctly. You are now ready to run your scrape and extract the data you've selected. Start by clicking on the green get data button in the left sidebar. Here, you can choose to test your scrape job, run it, or schedule it for later. For larger scrape jobs, we recommend that you do a test run before submitting your scrape job. In this case, we will just run it right away. Parsub will now go and scrape all of the data that you've selected. Once the data has been collected, you will be notified via email and you'll be able to download your scrape as an Excel spreadsheet or JSON file. You now know how to scrape email addresses from any website. However, we know that not every website is built the same way. If you run into any issues during your scrape job, reach out to us at hello at parsub.com 
or use the live chat on our homepage. And as always, check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.